Hi guys, it's Dan here from The Stroke Gaming and this is just a quick tutorial for you guys. It's nothing too advanced, nothing too hard. Uh, you don't have to change any settings or anything. It's just simple. It's cheap and cheerful. Okay, anyone can do this. A monkey could do it, but monkeys don't have computers, so they can't do it. So all you need basically is a computer. And let's get straight into it. Um, you can actually see the the stages on my uh, my desktop. I have a notepad. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think it was sticky notes. That's it. Uh, why have a why have a real one when you can just have a a virtual one that's just there? It doesn't fall off. It's always there unless you obviously delete it. Anyway, uh, basically, I'm running on Windows Seven Premium, and it's just gonna be easy to be honest. Right. F anyway. First thing you're going to need to have to do is search through your folders and libraries and files, delete anything that you do not want, do not need, anything that isn't necessary. Uh, say old homework that you don't need, music, old video clips, or photos that you've already, I don't know, put into a put into a slideshow or something. Anything, anything that's unnecessary, you don't need it, and it's just there wasting away, taking up space. Make sure you delete it if you don't want it. Make sure you don't want it. Uh, and if you do want it and you delete it, then you're lucky because it goes to the recycling bin or recycle bin and you can restore it from there. But also, your computer doesn't delete them straight away, it just sends them to the recycling bin. So, it's still going to be stored on your system. It's nothing, it's not going to have given you back that memory, it's still going to be there. So, you have to make sure you regularly empty out your recycling bin as uh, it won't get rid of them, get rid of the files or folders, whatever. Also, if you go on to your start, go to control panel, and just uninstall a program, uh, uninstall things you don't use, you don't want, you don't need, again, that saves space and will save uh, memory for your computer. Uh, also, a, a good thing is if you have um, any sort of email, uh, emailing application or something, make sure you delete any unwanted emails from your inbox. Uh, ones that you've been sent, you've read, you don't need anymore. Ones uh, from your junk. Make sure you delete your junk. Most emails now actually delete them uh, after a certain amount of time anyway. But make sure you delete them because they do take up space unless it's on the internet or something. Uh, make sure you empty out your sent items and outbox because uh, they also store them for forever. I think it's then. Um, also, your deleted items folder or bin or whatever. Uh, make sure you. Uh, clear them because it, just deleting them again like the files with the recycling bin uh, you need to get rid of them but most things do uh, do automatically get rid of them in like 50 days or so uh, anyway that's the first part I wanted to talk about and uh, that was the easy stuff I was just uh, looking around and the stuff I'm about to do is probably just as easy and you don't have to do much stuff uh, so the first one I'm gonna do is the disk cleanup uh, I'm running on Windows 7 as I said earlier so first of all you're going to need to click on the start button you're going to need to go to all programs and all mine's already here you're going to click on accessories as you can see you've got uh, a few applications that are useful sometimes you're going to go down to system tools underneath ease of access and you're going to go to disk cleanup what this will do is it will dis or like delete any uh, files that are not needed, maybe previous versions of applications, programs or games that the computer does not need to or does not need to be able to run that program. Um, they will delete it, it will search your whole memory, your whole computer for this stuff. Um, it does take up, like, it does take a quite a lot of time, uh, quite a lot of time. as you can see uh, it deletes everything from your downloaded programs so that you've moved somewhere else. Uh, delete your temporary files, th thumbnails, temporary internet files, and as you can see here, it, can t it tells me the total amount of disk space I can gain from clearing and deleting these files, and there it is, uh, eight gig. Um, that's quite a lot. So what you're going to do is just going to click OK. Yes, I've done this thousands of times, and just wait for it to finish. That was quick. And there we go. It's now got rid of, uh, or saved me another eight gig of my memory. Um, also, another another useful thing. Let's scroll down on here is the disk defragmenter. Your computer stores 
uh, program files and information all over its memory drive or whatever you want to call it uh, and what it does is it has to go to each individual place to find it whereas what this does is it compacts all that together and puts it in one place so the computer only has to go like to that one that one area it's like a sh it's like a shop so uh like one of those supermarkets they set everything in one place so it's more convenient it's more it's faster and most of the time it's cheaper so to do this there's a cat whining outside my house and it's annoying me firstly uh, you're going to want to go to uh, all programs you're going to click accessories again and again just like the other one you're going to go to system tools cat shut up all right then to disk fragmenting and as you can see uh, I have this schedule so it would do it automatically for me but this is what you want to do uh, I have a, uh, it's going to be the C drive, it's normally the main drive so you can first of all you're going to want to analyse it <coughs> you're going to want to analyse it and this will uh, go and calculate how much of it is uh, is fragmented everywhere okay, guys, I'll come back it when it's finished analyzing. finished and it's um not any more uh, fragmented than it was when I started it uh, a few minutes ago. I also uh, waited a bit to make sure that cat would up. So, as well, you can see that it's only a uh, one percent, and I that is because I run it regularly, and I have it uh, automatic, so it keeps it mm, nice and defragmented, you could say. Uh, this is my recovery drive. I don't ever bother to defragment that because I don't store that much stuff on it and it's 1% only so it doesn't really matter I would advise you to do it because it does take um, about 10 minutes uh, 10 or 15 minutes depending on your computer uh, to how long it would take so I'd only do it if it was above uh, about 10 10% saves you time anyway so that has been uh, me Dan and this has been the basic tutorial for you to speed up your computer or system and um, there we go, what can I say? Thanks for watching, uh, hope you liked it, subscribe, uh, go check out our other videos, we don't have other tutorials of yet, we've got one other one by me, it's not very good to be honest, but um, thanks for watching guys, like it, comment, tell me what you want uh, to see next, uh, hope you have a good day, thanks.